In this video, I'm going to share with you a new way to use the slicer. So how we can sort our chart data using slicer. For example, if I want the data in ascending order, descending order, or if I just want to keep my original sorting order. So how actually we can develop this chart? In this video, I will show you step by step detail and there is no VBA needed. No further ado, let's go together. For the sake of example, I create month, year and total sale data. The first thing to create a chart, we need to develop table. I'm just going to create this table on a very bottom. You can create this on new sheet and then later you can just hide those sheets. Okay. The first column for the table, we need order column. And for the order column, I will write ascending, descending order, original order. The next column, I will create the sort column and the next will be sub total column. For the sort column, I will use one for ascending, minus one for descending, and just leave the original order. For the subtotal, I will use subtotal function, subtotal, and for the subtotal, I will choose 103 function, which is actually excluding the blank, sorry, the hidden row. So 103, and for the reference, I will reference this C40, close the bracket, hit enter, and we just need to drag this formula. So actually this function, whenever the row is hidden, this return a zero value for us. Whenever the row is visible, they return a one. Now the next thing we just need to select all of the data set, hit control T to convert this to a table format data. And on a table design tab, you can see insert slicer on original order. I want to create my slicer. Now the next thing I just need to move this chart. Of course, you can see there is a dollar format, but we actually don't need the dollar format. I'm just going to convert this to a general format and I'm just moving this slicer to the top area of my sheet. Now, what if I just click on ascending order, you can see this only filtering the ascending order data, descending order data and for the origin, this will do the same. So what we need to do, we just need to apply filter function filter. And what you want to filter, I want to filter actually the sorting order column and whenever the subtotal column is equal to one so as i told you earlier whenever row is hidden they will return zero whenever row is visible they will return once so we just want to filter out the one mean the visible set if i hit enter this will return minus one one and for the original order zero now of course we just need to use this whole function in sort function so what we need to do now we just need to apply simple sort function and for the sort function i'm just going to select all of the data Sit. Sort index, I want to sort the data based on the second column. So I will just type two. And for the sorting order, instead of one minus one, I'm just going to control V to paste my formula, close the bracket, hit enter. And of course, this give a value error because we select original order and there is no parameter for original order. So if I just select ascending order, descending order, of course, I need to convert this to same format, click format painter and then click on D2 cell. Now you can see ascending, descending working, but original order is not working. So what we need to do, we actually need to apply if error function. So if error, if this function give us a error, error value, what we want to do, we just want to return the original range. Close the bracket, hit enter. And now if I just select original order, this will return the same rent ascending, descending, original order. Of course, we need to click on the slicer, slicer sitting and off the display header, hit OK. And of course, I just need to reduce the height of the slicer. The next thing, we just need to copy paste the heading. And now I'm just going to select all of my data sheet. Go to insert, insert recommended chart. And of course, I want in this case, let's say column chart. Now we need to do a little bit formatting. So I'm just going to select the chart and fit, let's say, hit alt key and move the chart now it's perfectly fit on the border of the rows and columns the next thing we need to increase the width of the column chart i'm just going to increase the height of the chart click on the chart right click format data series and increase the gap width sorry decrease the gap width to let's say let's say 20 or 9 10 this is up to you so for example i'm just going to select 10 I'm just going to move this slicer to here. Of course, you can do a little bit formatting as per your need. But this is how we can create this useful chart with ascending order, descending order and original order. I hope you like this video. If you like the video, please subscribe my channel and share this video. Thank you so much.